Good afternoon, and welcome to the Basilica of the Sacred Heart, as we gather to commemorate the life, mourn the death, and pray in hopefulness for the eternal life of our brother, Donald Fetters. I invite you to please stand as we begin our opening hymn, All Creatures of Our God and King. of our God and King. Lift up your voice and with us sing. Alleluia, Alleluia. Opening sun with golden beam and silver moon with softer gleam. Sing your praises Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O'er rushing wind and breezes soft, O'er clouds that ride the winds aloft, Sing your praises, Alleluia, O rising born in praise rejoice, O lights of evening find a voice, sing your praises, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Water pure and clear, make music for your Lord to hear. Sing your praises, Alleluia. O fire so masterful and bright, providing us with warmth and light. Sing your praises, Alleluia. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Don died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. On the day of his baptism, Don put on Christ. On the day of his religious profession, he was clothed with the grace to live the evangelical counsels. At the end of time, may Christ clothe him in glory and enfold him in his love.
and gentle death, waiting to hush our final breath. Sing your praises, alleluia. You lead to heaven the child of God, where Christ our Lord the way has drawn. Sing your praises. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Let all things the Creator bless and worship God in humbleness. Sing your praises, Alleluia. I want to welcome all of you to the celebration for Father Don Fetters, particularly to his dear mother, Mrs. Fetters, to Jeanette, his sister, to his brother Larry, and to all those, his family and friends, and all those here present as we mourn this beautiful man um, at the end of his wonderful life. In his baptism, Don received the mark of Christ's cross. At his profession of perpetual vows, he received the image of Christ crucified and was invited to follow in his footsteps. May he come to share in the glory of his resurrection. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that the soul of Don, your servant, a religious and priest, whom you honored with sacred office while he lived in this world, may exalt forever in the glorious home of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. I believe that I shall see 
the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord, to inquire at his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer me. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live forever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, as the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. 
You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. It has been said that the most difficult cross for a parent to carry is the death of their child. Virginia, the death of your son Donald is such a cross for you, yet once again. After having already buried your baby daughter Sharon, and two of your sons, Roy and Michael. As you carry this cross, which weighs even more heavily upon you today, please know of my prayers and the prayers of all my fellow Holy Cross priests, brothers and sisters, as we commend your dear son, Donald, our brother in Holy Cross, into the loving embrace of Christ the Good Shepherd. Know as well the prayers of Our Lady of Sorrows, the patroness of our religious congregation, a woman who knew grief as she stood at the foot of the cross. Our condolences go as well to Don's siblings, to you, Jeanette, and to your brother, Lawrence, and to Don's many nieces and nephews. I first met Don when he entered the high school seminary here at Notre Dame as a junior back in 1964. At the time, I was a senior. During our time together at Moreau Seminary as undergraduates and graduate students, I came to value Don as a dear friend. Following our ordinations, our paths went in different directions. Don spending a number of years in Arizona at Borgade Catholic High School as a teacher and administrator and I serving as an associate pastor at St. Ignatius Martyr in Austin, Texas. Both Don and I reconnected in 1984 when at a rather young age, Don was appointed assistant superior of Moreau Seminary while I served on the formation staff. We very much enjoyed being able to live together sharing community life, deepening our friendships, and strengthening our brotherhood bonds. Three years later, however, Don was assigned to Chile, and later to Peru, and to Mexico, and our paths did not cross until some 32 years later, when in 2019, Don returned to Notre Dame, where he continued to be treated for cancer which had been diagnosed some five years earlier. For the past five years, Don and I were able and blessed 
to renew our friendship with one another. We enjoyed reminiscing about our time in Holy Cross. We loved going out for meals, going to movies, and oh yes, taking short trips together. For example, to Mackinac Island and the Upper Peninsula. Enjoying the brilliant fall colors of autumn days and the scent of summer flowers shimmering in bright sunlight. Don was very much an artist and loved beauty, especially as reflected in Mother Nature. It was not you who chose me, Jesus said to his apostles at the Last Supper, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain. Don took these words of Jesus to heart as a religious and priest of Holy Cross. He loved Holy Cross, our common life, common table, common apostolates, and common prayer. His whole life was one of engendering and nourishing life in others, enabling them through his own life of personal prayer to grow in the Lord, to grow in love, to bear fruit, cultivating, if you will, the lives of those he served for a fuller, richer life. Don's was a nourishing presence as he served the students at Borgade Catholic High School, the hundreds of orphans at Hogar San Jose in Chile, and the students at St. George's College in Santiago. Don's was a nourishing presence as he served his fellow religious as a major superior in Chile and in Peru, as a formator in Peru and Mexico and at Moro Seminary, and as a confessor or spiritual director for so many. For the benefit of his confreres in Mexico and South America, Don single-handedly translated our Holy Cross Directory of Devotional Prayer into Spanish. And for these past five years, Don's was a nourishing presence, a loving presence, as he conscientiously cared for his sister, Jeanette, and his mother, Virginia, who, God willing, will soon turn to be 103 years old this coming May. And both of them are now assisted by a dear friend and neighbor, Matt Dembski. Matt, on behalf of the Congregation of Holy Cross, I want to thank you for your assistance to Don's sister and mother. You know, for Don, it was never about himself nor the positions he held. A devoted son of Blessed Basil Moreau, the founder of the Congregation of Holy Cross, Don was intent in every circumstance on making God known, loved, and served. It was almost as if Don had heard Jesus say to him, it was not you who chose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain. 
in yourself, and in all those you serve. You know, in the face of death, the church confidently proclaims that God has created each person for eternal life, and that Jesus, the Son of God, by his death and resurrection, has broken the chains of sin and death that had bound humanity. As a priest and religious, Don deeply believed this central mystery of our faith. And as Christians, we profess our belief in the Paschal mystery, that life as we know it here on this earth does not end in death, For through baptism, we share in Christ's Passover from death to life. As St. John reminds us today from the passage from his first letter, God sent his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. This Easter faith offers all of us hope and consolation. In proclaiming the Paschal mystery through her funeral rites, the church also commends the dead to God's merciful love and pleads for the forgiveness of their sins. Pope Benedict XVI once remarked that few of us die as saints. I would say Don was pretty close. We believe that only those in whom Christ is brought to perfection can enter heaven. And so we are here to lend our prayers to that perfecting, to that final work of God's grace in freeing Don, a good, gentle, devoted, conscientious teacher, administrator, pastor, and humble servant of God from any encumbrance of sin. Shortly before Easter, Don learned of his diagnosis that the cancer had managed that he had managed to hold at bay for some 10 years had now returned aggressively throughout his lungs. When he was told that he would enter hospice care, he is reported to have said, I was diagnosed 10 years ago with cancer, but God and the doctors gave me 10 good years. And for this, I am so grateful. With a grateful heart, this past Easter Sunday, Don left this world to enter eternal life. With confidence, we pray that he will be given a place in the kingdom of God, where hope is firm for all who believed, for all who loved, and rest is sure for all who served. As did Don, as a faithful Holy Cross religious and priest for some 48 years years. Don, may you rest in peace. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from death. 
With confidence we pray in his name. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Bishop Kevin, may they shepherd the flock of Christ in the spirit of the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear our For peace in every land, especially in Haiti, Sudan, Ukraine, the Holy Land, and throughout the Middle East. Let us pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. For all the newly baptized and those received into full communion with the Catholic Church this past Easter, let us pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who were touched by the loving presence of our brother Donald, especially students, parishioners, orphans, those in formation, fellow Holy Cross priests, brothers and sisters, may they find strength in the Easter mystery we celebrate these 50 days. Let us pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. For our brother Donald, who served the people of God and the congregation for some 48 years as a Holy Cross priest and religious, may he come to share in the feast of the heavenly banquet table. Let us pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. For the staff of Holy Cross House, who lovingly cared for Father Fetters during his final days here on earth, in appreciation for their service and quality care. Let us pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who mourn at the passing of our brother Donald, especially his mother, Virginia, his sister, Jeanette, and his brother, Lawrence, may they be strengthened by our celebration of the Paschal mystery and the promise of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. In company with the Holy Mother of God and all the saints without ceasing, let us pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. God, our shelter and our strength, hear the prayers we offer for our departed brother Don. Cleanse him of his sins and grant him the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Shows a feast, 
Such a feast as man's in length, such a strength as makes his guest. Come, my joy. joy as none can know, such a love as none can part, such a heart as joy is in Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through these holy mysteries, Don, your servant and priest, may behold with clarity forever what he faithfully ministered here through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of death might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he comes in the name of the Lord. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we've brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, <clears throat> broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> when we eat this bread, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile the world to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, <clears throat> one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, we ask you, remember your servant Don, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. 
For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share with one another some sign of Christ's peace. Peace, Dennis. Peace, Daniel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. the bread of life. You who come to me shall not hunger, 
and who believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the last day. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world, and if you eat of this bread, you shall live forever, you shall live forever, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the last day. Unless you eat of the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink of his blood, and drink of his blood, you shall not have life within you, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the last day. I am the resurrection. I am the life. If you believe in me, even though you die, shall live forever, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the Let us pray. Having received the sacraments of salvation, we implore your kindness, O Lord, for Don, your servant and priest, that as you made him a steward of your mysteries on earth, so you may bring him to be nourished by their truth and reality as unveiled in heaven, through Christ our Lord.
With faith in Jesus Christ, let us take leave of our brother Don. His religious life on this earth was a sign of the kingdom which is to come. May our farewell express our love for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day in that kingdom, we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself.
Into your hands, O oh Father of mercies, we commend our brother Don in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon our brother in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with all the saints in Christ. Merciful Father, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother Don to his place of rest. In paradisum, de du canst te angeli, in tuo adventu, Suci piant te martyres, et perducans te in civitatem sanctam Jerusalem. Chorus angel. Et cum la